This is Sparta! Hey, how's it going, everybody? If you're new here, welcome in. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Roll Shambo, the connoisseur and collector of all things sharp and shiny. And I'm excited today because I've been talking with my friends over at Kubi, and they said, hey, we have a massive sale on our budget lines going on right now. Do you want in? Do you think that people watching your channel would be interested in saving some money on some really great budget models? And of course I said yes, because let's face it. I mean, most of us spend way too much money on this hobby anyways. And on top of that, you know, with the price of eggs and gas and just living in general going up, it's nice to indulge in the hobby and save some money. So as I go through here, remember, in the description down below is a discount code for 37% off. That means that even though all of these are typically below $50 anyways, you can get them for around the price of 20, 25 bucks. That's insane. Let's go ahead and check out the first one. We're going to start off with this guy. This is the Kubi Carve and man, oh man, this is such a sweet knife. Oh, uh, let's start off talking about the specs. We've got eight inches overall on this beautiful dark, dark oxide finish D2 harpoon tanto style blade. It's a single sided captive pivot running on ceramic bearings and that action yeah, that action is so good. Listen, Kubi is highly underrated when it comes to just exactly what they can produce at a budget price point. Now, right now, this is on sale for like 40 bucks. You can get it for 25 with the 37% off code. Check out this contoured G10 handle scales. That's great. And you see this one singular body screw. That body screw is T8. And so is the pivot on the other side. The only other screw is, well, it's the pocket clip screw. That's nuts. It's a liner lock, nested liner lock. And we're looking at a really good lockup and perfect blade centering. Can I fail the blade? <laughs> no. Despite the, the dark oxide finish, and anytime I see a blade that has a coating on it, I always think, great, this is this is going to take a while to break in. Not the case on this one. The, the action is very smooth. That is deceptively good. Wow. I'm also a big fan of the jimping they have here. The harpoon style Tonto is one of my favorite blade shapes, and it's not even an official blade shape. We just see it every now and then, but I like it because you get locked in. And that lock-in feels, well, it feels really good. Really, really good. D2, G10, liner lock, and man, that, that index is really, really, really well. Very nice. Flipper, and then of course, you can use that fuller for the deployment as well. All day, baby, all day. Next up, we've got the Kubi Talia, and this is another one that is going for about 40 bucks right now on sale. But again, with the discount code, you can get it for around 20. <laughs> that action is silly. It's a front flipper that works extremely well. It's a guillotine for sure. The blade is most definitely centered. And then you have this oversized deployment hole, which is very, very usable. We've got a really decent sharpening choil right there. Just see how much distance is from the edge termination to the plunge grind. When you go to sharpen this, you're not going to have any issues at all when it comes to extending the life of that edge. You're not going to get a smile on the edge. Uh, we've got a beautiful swedge up here at the top. And then of course, more than adequate jimping. I'm seeing a trend here. Kubi, Kubi says, you know what? Oh, you like T8 body screws? Yeah, there's T8 body screws. You like flush pocket clip screws? There they are. You like a good lockup? Oh yeah. How about perfect lockup? <laughs> That's fantastic. Straight guillotine. Really good fit and finish. Great as a front flipper. Great as a reverse flipper. The Kubi Talia, man. I'll tell you what. I really wish that they had this in a premium version with titanium handle skills. That would be absolutely fantastic. And yeah, the pocket clip, of course, is reversible on the other side for you lefties. What a good, what a good buy. 20, 20 bucks? Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. 
absolutely got to check this one out. The Kubi Talia. I'm, I'm loving it. And then lastly, we've got this guy. This is the Kubi Darkness. And the darkness is, yeah, that's really nice too. Uh, we've got another Tanto style blade. This is a Tanto spear tip with a deployment hole and then a rear flipper. Action is very good as well. And we've got this beautiful jimping here on the handle scales. That's really going to help with the grip. And you know what? I've been doing this all day the indexing on these knives is really good, especially in a reverse grip. You see how you have the jimping right there in a reverse grip. You've got extra grip for your thumb when you go to cap off at the end. If you find yourself at the gas station and you need to defend your Slurpee, you'll have perfect grip. That's really, really nice. And I'm finding myself enjoying this blade shape. Uh, just like with the other two, we have this generous sharpening choil here that keeps the edge termination from the plunge grind, single-sided captive pivot. The action is, it's a straight guillotine. It has this really satisfying sound when you deploy it, it just snicks open. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I think you could probably add all three of these to your cart and get them for under a hundred bucks for all three. <laughs> Gosh, that's so good. I'm really enjoying these guys. What a what a great offering from Kubi. What a great opportunity for people who like budget knives to be able to get in on some seriously good underrated models that I I've handled plenty of budget knives. In the time that I've had my channel, I've made about 500 videos on knife and EDC products, and I've had the opportunity to check out quite a few really great budget knives. And Kubi, I've got to keep a better eye on Kubi because this is impressive. What they've come out with in the last couple of years has been nothing short of phenomenal, and they keep improving. They keep getting better. They listen to us on things like T8 hardware and edge termination not being too close to the plunge grind so we don't have these ugly smiles on our blades when we go to sharpen them. Also, they, they listen about cutting geometry. You want to see something cool? Check this out. All three of these have excellent cutting geometry. No problem. No problem. That just wants to cut all day. And then this guy, you know, Tonto's not known for their sliceability. Very nice. I know what you guys are thinking. Oh my goodness. There he goes cutting paper again. Like it's hard to cut paper or something. It, it's not about whether or not it can cut paper. It's, it's about how well it slices paper. That tells you everything you need to know about the edge and the blade geometry. If it tears, it's not good. If it slices, the edge geometry is good. And that's great. I find myself really enjoying this, uh, this Kubi carve with the nested liner locks. That's sweet. That's one that I didn't have my eye on, but I'm glad that it's on my table now. But now I'm curious to see what you think. Have you checked out these knives before? Are you interested in this sale? Is it time to get some Christmas shopping done a little bit early? Let me know in the comments section down below. And if you want a killer deal, make sure to use code RS37LT at kubishopping.com and you will save 37% off some really well-priced budget knives already. And by the way, if you want to watch more awesome knife and EDC content, make sure to click on one of the videos that pops up next.